So a lot of people talk about whether it's time to downsize, but have you ever wondered uh, when it's time to upsize? Well, in this episode, that's the topic of discussion. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. And I'm very excited about this because, you know, I've done videos before and I've had conversations um, about when it's time to actually downsize a current home, meaning having it be decluttered, uh, getting rid of items, extra large furniture, uh, or if you're downsizing to purchase another home that is smaller, which uh, many times seniors do that. So this episode, uh, I wanted to I wanted to actually share with you about whether it's time to upsize. And yes, I've been asked this question, um, but I just wanted to really share it. So I got five typical reasons why you would actually want to upsize. upsize. So the first one is, do you work from home? Do you need a dedicated office space? Uh, that would be a good reason to upsize your home. During COVID, many people were short-term or permanently placed on a work at home uh, I guess, you know, status, right? Where they were working from home. Uh, many kids were doing homeschooling, which uh, probably not a lot are doing it now, uh, post COVID, but many people realized that their, their current space just was not working. Um, so if you need a dedicated space, whether it's a home office or something like, like that, uh, maybe a dedicated play area, an extra bedroom, whatever it is, that's a great time to consider upsizing. Um, oh, and by the way, in 2019, right towards the end of 2019, home offices were a, were becoming a dying trend where they were actually dedicated. And then they came back in full force once COVID hit. It's amazing. And it's still going strong. Number two, is your family growing and you need more bedrooms? This is extremely common, right? A couple has a condo or wherever, which I've been there. Uh, we had a condo and then, you know, you have a baby and then you have another baby. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, you know, I need the extra bedroom. I need a three bedroom home, four bedroom home, whatever the case is, uh, maybe even a five bedroom home. Uh, the two bedroom condo is not working out or the apartment's not working out. So uh, that's a, 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 a very common way or reason for people to actually upsize a home, okay? Or get into a home. Number three, do you need a bigger living room or even a kitchen? Is your space not working out right? Are you not happy? with how the living room is, how um, the kitchen is, there's not enough space, there's not a pantry. Is there not enough space in the bathroom? Are you not happy with that? That's a great reason to upsize. Um, okay, now, number four, will you be taking, uh, uh, taking care of parents or adult children? So multi-generational living, right? Multiple generations under one roof is becoming more and more popular. And so are you going, are you, are you someone who is uh, going to have their adult children live with them on a long-term basis? Uh, I've actually seen that happen. Uh, I had a neighbor that was actually doing that. It was just permanent, right? And both generations were still still young, considering. Um, but are you also going to be taking care of your parents? You might need to upsize your home. Uh, I read something interesting. I wanna say it was from the AARP or whatever, but uh, basically, baby boomers, a lot of baby boomers, many baby boomers, I should say, not a lot, but many are actually upsizing a home to allow for their adult children uh, to take care of them. And so they're actually financing the home and then they have their adult children stay with them and they kind of split the cost. So um, that's becoming popular, okay? Uh, and the last one, uh, is your current space just not working? I kind of mentioned that, although I was more specific in number three about do you need a bigger space, but is the overall space just not working out for you? Um, do you not have enough garage spaces for your cars? Um, do you, are, you not, are you not happy with how the backyard is, uh, the size of it or the layout? Are you not happy with how your house is? It just doesn't work out. Um, you know, that's a great time, a great reason actually to upsize. So these are just five things, five things that I came across, uh, and I wanted to share with you. Uh, if, you know, if I missed one, I probably did, <laughs> but the, these are the most common, but if you have a reason why you would upsize a home, go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to, uh, read what you think. And also, uh, be sure to follow me on social media. Those links are in my descriptions in the description, excuse me. And be sure to follow me 
or, or rather be sure to um, actually visit my websites. I have it's all about the real estate.com and then my new website, servingmichiganseniors.com. Uh, you don't have to be in Michigan to enjoy that website. There's a lot of great, helpful articles for seniors as well. So I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and I appreciate you watching.